Hi, I'm Tori Black, and I'm going to tell you about an interview that I had with Suzanne at the Parenting Center in Fort Worth, Texas. The Parenting Center's mission is to provide family members and professionals with the tools, resources, and services to build successful families. It's a nonprofit that was established in 1947 to address child abuse and neglect, and it provides counseling, parenting advice, and education for between 14 and 18,000 people annually. I spoke with Suzanne Stevenson, who's the Family Life Education Program Manager, and she coordinates the work of the Family Life Educators. So she told me about the work of the Family Life Educators. Uh, the educators work full-time, 40 hours a week. Uh, their hours can be quite flexible because classes are held during the daytime, at the nighttime, at um, many locations besides the Parenting Center. Um, for instance, a PTA may request um, some parenting classes be held at the school that they represent, and so they will go and present parenting classes at that school. Um, the typical stressors are clients that might exhibit some hostility because they're required by court order to attend some of their uh, parenting classes. Um, the parenting center is able to function solely through grants and donations. They and they do take fees for the classes as well. So their budget is quite tight, and so that can be a bit of a stressor as well. The educators don't make a lot, um, but they do have generous benefits. Uh, they have uh, good medical, dental, and vision benefits, as well as very generous vacation and uh, sick leave and personal time as well. Um, the starting salary is about $30,000, and there really isn't a top end that she could um, share with me because most of the people don't stay around that long. Um, it's, uh, it's a position that they, they move through because they know that they will not get the pay that they could get elsewhere uh, because, um, because the, the pay is all um, handled, controlled through the grants that they received. Uh, it's, it's written into the grants, so there's only so much that they can give to the people based on, on that. Um, at a minimum, applicants need to have a bachelor's degree in human sciences and experience teaching. Um, they'll look at your training uh, when considering an applicant. Educators need to be flexible in how they respond to class participants. Sometimes clients care about the education that an educator has. They want to know about your degree and your background, but sometimes they they really don't care. They want to know that you're a parent and that you've experienced the things that they have experienced. Um, you need a lot of patience for this job because you're often dealing with people um, who are in a chaotic moment in their life. Um, but it's rewarding when you can help them to realize that having Child Protective Services involved in your life does not have to be a bad thing, that it is an opportunity for change. And that is the Parenting Center.